parish makes a commitment today to the younger parishioners by beginning to renovate this center. Well, not only is uh, Father Schmeagel um, a priest in our community at St. Bridges here, but he's also a, a great community leader. I think he does a fantastic job of supporting a lot of events and a lot of people who are in this community, in this town, especially UMass and UMass Athletics. Um, he is a part of our team and family uh, with the basketball program, and uh, when he spoke about potentially doing something and was wondering if the team could um, come by and, and participate, nobody <laughs> took a second to say, yes, we're coming, Father. And I think it's great for the kids of the area to come out and meet some of the guys and uh, to celebrate the opening of what I, what I see as a very fantastic multi-use facility, not only a basketball facility, but a place where people can come and maybe use it as a rental facility. Like, I didn't know about it. I was a cookout at first. So I walked in and they were like, yo, y'all going to be here when they dedicate the court. I'm like, oh, okay, so it's nice. It's a nice court. It's really nice, actually. I didn't know that there was a rec center in here like this. This is a nice place. I feel like it, uh, it's, a, it's a good place for the community. And it's great being around the kids, being around our fans. I love kids, so I'm having a good time right now. Could you envision your team playing on this court anytime? Let's say the Mullen Center is booked and the cage is booked. Get the team out here for practice, huh? It would be interesting and fun. I'll tell you what, it'd be sold out. <laughs> and it's, uh, it is a nice facility. I'm looking at it as a place where the youth of the area can really use it as a, a place to improve their skill, whether it's basketball or floor hockey or indoor soccer. And um, I think I've said it before, I've already inquired to Father about let's start up a, a four to six year old league um, and maybe let the kids of the community get going early. You have uh, Father Schmiegel around the team during games and in the locker room. What's he like to be around and have around your guys? Yeah, definitely, because he's always there. Win or lose, no matter what night the game's on, he's always there. He always writes a good prayer for us. He changes it up all the time. You can never have too many um, positive role models around your team. I think people that are genuine and care about not only your team, but the state of UMass, the Amherst community, and your program. And uh, Father's another great sounding board for my family, my wife and myself, but also he's great to, um, you know, just reiterate to the kids how you're supposed to be, um, what's expected as a student athlete, and to have him on the bench and do our pregame prayer, I think adds um, some credence to the type of program we have here at UMass. You said that uh, your team's really trying to start doing more things like this together. How, how important is that for team camaraderie to do things like this? It definitely a lot, because like, as you can tell in the, in the future years, we all seem just to break down in the season and then like, we just didn't look like a team. But I feel like this summer and like even last spring, we all we came together and everybody wanted to do it to, to win on and off the court. Everybody's, our grades are, are way much better than, they always, than they've been in a long time. And everybody's working hard. Nobody's late for like meetings, work, weightlifting, like we went to the gym every day playing. I have a really good feel about this season coming up right now because everybody's putting a lot of effort forward toward it.